good morning or whatever time it is um, I know it's been a really really long time since I filmed anything I've just been crazy busy um, I'm also really sick right now and I'm really congested like it's been really bad uh, <clears throat> but anyway today's a really big day for me because I'm getting veneers on my front these four um, I'll have a story time after I get them done I just kind of want to show you guys what they look like right now um, <coughs> I already got temporaries in so this is what they look like um, you can kind of see over here this one it looks kind of weird compared to this one over here and there's like a spot on this tooth um, so basically the veneer crown fell off on this tooth and that's what it looks like underneath they had to shave my teeth down a little bit <laughs> But yeah, I'm getting my permanent veneers today, and I'm so excited. Uh, this is really big for me. Um, I'll explain it once I get them on, and I'll show you guys like videos and pictures of what my teeth look like before, because I know they don't look that bad, but they were bad. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to go now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Back! Yay! Okay, so as you guys saw in the last clip, I got veneers, and I was dying and now I'm still low-key dying but it's so much better and I have an ears so I'm fine um, so basically I'm thinking that most of you started watching my videos um, obviously when I had teeth uh, because I would have never started making any type of videos if I didn't have teeth um, but basically to like take you guys back as to why I got veneers because most videos probably have my teeth when they were like okay looking so you guys are probably like what a waste of money like why would you get veneers but no so when I was about seven or eight um, I am I wouldn't say I'm competitive but um, you know like sometimes a little competition is kind of fun or whatever so when I was about seven or eight um, me and my sister and my brother and my mom uh, we went out there's a trail by my house so I used to really like riding my bike and so we were out there bike riding it was during the summer transition between second and third grade and um, okay mind you guys um, I did something really dumb in second grade so I really wanted that like front tooth gap because I don't know I just thought it was like a part of my childhood that I had to have so one of my teeth had fallen out which I believe is this one and then I knocked the other one out on purpose just so I could have that gap right biggest mistake of my life so then <coughs> excuse me this other tooth had started to grow in and we're on our bikes and I tell my sister, let's race. And she's like, no, I don't want to race. And I was like, come on, let's race, let's race, let's race. And she's not racing me. So I was like, I'm still going to race you. So I'm just biking super fast and I keep looking back. Oh, my roommate's here. Anyway, so I keep looking back to see if she's coming and she's not coming. So I'm like, ah, I'm in the lead or whatever. Then, okay, so there was a fence that like when you... So there's a little bridge and before, so if you're coming from this side, the turn is like really, I didn't like that turn, okay? So I would always go to the fence and then come back around the other way. So I didn't realize that the fence was right there. So I started trying to hit my brakes, but I was also really small for my bike, so I couldn't stop with my feet. And um, it was just like, I didn't want to hit the brakes really hard because I felt like I was going to fall. So... I couldn't stop and then that's all I remember <laughs> and I'm assuming I knocked out or something so then I get up and I'm crying obviously and I go back to my mom and she's like what happened so then she's like oh <laughs> and so then luckily we we're like right outside my house so we go to the house and my dad and my other sister were in the garage and they were like oh my god what happened to her so I'm like oh my god what happened to me so then um I like it felt like all of my teeth had fallen out so I'm just crying and I'm like I feel like I lost my teeth and my mom was like you did and I was like which one and she was like the front one and I was like no it was permanent so if I hadn't knocked out my tooth on purpose none of this would have happened but here I am at 21 13 years later with veneers so basically after that it started a whole dental journey for me so I couldn't get I couldn't get braces yet I couldn't get a tooth in yet like there was nothing that could be done except for let my teeth fall okay it's literally the same day just I changed my shirt because I started cleaning and my phone ran out of storage and anyway 
I'm back to complete my story. So, where I was at. Basically, knocked out my tooth. There was nothing I could do about it except for wait to grow it out. And um, so I became very insecure about my smile. I just thought it was ugly. Um, even though I was super young, it was just something that I was really insecure about. And I mean, like, I've always basically been the same person. So I, I laugh a lot. I smile a lot. But I just... I didn't like it. I in sc every school year after that, you know how we take our yearly school pictures. Um, I would never ever show teeth. Like it was always just like. But you could always see that there was one tooth right here that was bigger than the others because I would smile so hard because everyone would be like smile. So I was just like. <laughs> so literally every year after that my smile was super ugly I remember in fifth grade they gave us back all of our little library cards and um, the last picture that I smiled in was in second grade and my fifth grade teacher was like oh my god I don't think I've ever seen Danita to smile in any pictures because I literally never smiled in photos um, then they had told me that I could get braces in sixth grade so I was really excited, and sixth grade comes around, I'm like, this is the year I'm going to get braces, my teeth are going to be fixed, like, I'm so excited, and then um, it was going to be a whole process, and I was honestly really scared because it, like, basically the way that they explained it to me, so mind you, my parents don't speak English, so anytime that I go to the doctor or the dentist or do anything, really, um, I would always have to be the translator, so they would explain it to me, and then I would tell my parents what was going to happen. And so the way that they explained it to me, I was terrified. Like, I was like, oh my god, like, my teeth, my mouth, I'm going to be in so much pain. So essentially, my mouth was very small, so I had to get the expander at the top, the roof of my mouth, and that would kind of, like, widen up a little bit every day, and I had that for, like, a month. And um, it wasn't painful for the expansion, it was more of, like... Uh, my teeth felt heavy, so like if you had braces, you know that your teeth feel sore. Uh, so that's kind of what it felt like. And I had spacers on top and bottom teeth. I had to get six teeth pulled out, and um, they had to start opening up the gap in the middle. So basically, since my teeth had grown out, um, I had one big tooth in the middle and then all the teeth on the side. And so obviously they needed to open that up so that they could fit another tooth in the, right next to it. And so I could have my two front teeth. So... Um, I didn't get a tooth in until 8th grade, um, and in 6th grade, that's when I started smiling in my yearbook photos because I wanted to see a transformation, um, and so anyway, in 7th grade, that's when my teeth were at an all-time low, like, I hated it so much, but I was like, I want to know what it'll look like afterwards, um, so basically I had this huge gap in between, uh, they put an expander in between that, so that really hurt, like, with braces, I suffered. And then um, in the eighth grade, the gap was big enough to where I could fit a tooth in. So basically they made a fake tooth and they hooked it up to my um, braces. And it was in no way perfect at all, uh, but it made me feel so much better about myself. Like I was like, okay, she has teeth again. Uh, so I was thriving in eighth grade. And apparently nobody noticed that I didn't have a tooth for all that time, but like everyone was like, oh, like your teeth look really good now. And I was like, yeah, because I got a tooth. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Um, but then I got my braces off my freshman year of high school in the spring. And my keen said was going to be the next year um, or that fall. So I was like, I, so they gave me a retainer, obviously. And I was like, I don't want to wear this retainer for my keen photos. And basically when they took my braces off, the tooth came out too. So my retainer was what held the tooth in. And anytime that I ate, I would have to take it off when I went to sleep. So I was very self-conscious about eating in public um, and just like sleepovers, stuff like that. Like I didn't want to be seen without my tooth. Um, because obviously like 15, 16, like you're a lot more vulnerable now. Um, so I was very self-conscious about it. And then um, they gave me an invisible retainer and that was supposed to be used only for photos. But the retainer with the wire was like it never fit me right so it was really hard to speak with it was really hard to get used to whenever I sneeze because I have really bad allergies whenever I sneeze like it would just fly out and I was like I'm not about to have my tooth fly out in public so I would wear the invisible retainer all the time and even around my friends I was very self-conscious about it so at lunch I would eat with it and so that retainer got all sorts of effed up and I kept having to buy new ones and so I'm telling you I would spend so much money on my teeth I did not care then 
I had been told that I could get an implant when I was about 17 because that's kind of when you stop growing and at 17 I could get my implant in but they had told me that it was gonna be about ten thousand dollars because insurance didn't cover anything and I was like and so my parents were always like well you'll have to wait until you can afford to pay for that and I was like girl when am I gonna be able to afford ten thousand dollars like I, after high school i have to go to college i have to pay rent i have to pay school like i didn't know when i would be able to get that in and then finally um i want to say my sophomore year of college i got really desperate like i was tired of having to remove my teeth um my freshman year of college when i moved out i was like i had to come clean to my roommates and tell them that i didn't have a tooth because obviously they would see me all the time so i would have to take my retainer out and i didn't want them to be like wait what just happened so i told them what had happened and like um yeah it was just like ugh, i hated it so much like i know for some people it's not that big of a deal but like for me it was like my biggest insecurity so then freshman year my mom was like well just go or sophomore year my mom was like just go to mexico and it'll be cheaper there go get it done so i booked a flight i was like you know what i don't care anymore i need to get my tooth in because i'm tired of this and i also wanted to study abroad and i was like i'm not about to study abroad without a tooth and so then um i booked this flight and my mom was like no oh my god like what if they mess it up and i was like you already told me to book a flight like I already did. I had already booked my flight and I couldn't get a refund. But anyway, she went to my dentist and they were like, oh, um, you guys have new dental insurance so it will cover a little bit and it's not that expensive. It'll be like $5,000. And I was like, that's still pretty expensive. But anyway, um, yeah, they're right. Like I don't have insurance in Mexico so I might as well just do it here. So I finally got my dental implant in like 2018. That summer I got my dental implant and I was really happy with it. Um, I think I have a video of it. If I do, I'll insert it now. You can see, um, my gums are a little blanched, as he would say, um, because, so I guess my implant shifted a little bit, and then he was trying to shift it back, so he was kind of having to go back and forth, back and forth with screwing things in, and I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a little bit, but he didn't even have to numb me at all. And um, so if I smile normally, you can't see it and it looks so good oh my god it looks way better than what I had before and I'm so excited to throw away my freaking retainer because it's trash but basically the tooth like it just it looked so good to me I was just I was so happy that was that was so big for me like I'm getting low-key teary-eyed thinking about it because when I tell you guys that was my biggest insecurity it was my biggest insecurity so then um after that that wasn't permanent i had to let it heal for um i believe they asked for it to heal for four to five months just so that my body got used to the implant and my gums kind of healed and everything and then after that i could get a permanent crown so i was not able to bite on that i would like i just wasn't able to bite on it that's basically what they told me after because i went to study abroad after that so it hit a point where i was like you know what this thing must have healed by now I just need to eat like a regular person so I would bite soft foods or like eat off to the side um, but then I came back and I had them check it out and they're like it looks good you can get your permanent crown now and I was like sweet like I'm gonna be able to bite stuff now so then I go to the dentist and mind you um, you will notice maybe I don't know if you guys noticed but the tooth that I had gotten was slightly shorter than all the other ones and it was a little bit bigger because I did have a gap um, between between this tooth and that tooth. There was a small gap so this tooth was a little bit wider than this other one. So my dentist was like, you still need to get your permanent crown um, and I was like, yeah. He was like, but I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way because this tooth is slightly bigger than the others. So we could either just like leave it like that and it'll be a slightly bigger or we could fill in the other tooth. Um, but then this tooth will be bigger than the other side. So I don't know what you want to do. I don't know if you're okay with that. Um, and he's like, or we could do veneers on those two teeth or we could do veneers on all four teeth or three teeth. Um, He's like, I think if you did veneers on all four front teeth, that would be the best results. And we could just shape them all to be perfect. And mind you guys, I've been going to the same dentist since that happened. So um, I really trust them and they're really good to me. I decided to do the all four front teeth because at the end of the day, I smile a lot. I laugh a lot. 
my teeth have been my biggest insecurity my whole life. So I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm tired of it. I don't care how much it costs. I just need these teeth fixed. Like, I'm trying to have those bomb teeth. So I did all four front teeth. And this is the result. So as you can see, they look very natural. Uh, but I was going to do a little bit wider than my original teeth because I like white teeth. But I also didn't want to have to go through a whole whitening process later on. So I just kept the natural shade of my teeth. Um, and yeah, so as you can tell, they're fairly white. Um, and they pretty much look like what my teeth looked like before. Um, so now I'm going to go into the process of getting many. By the way, I'm sorry if this video is really long. I just need you guys to have the full story in order to understand why I would pay so much money for my teeth. Because honestly, if I weren't missing a tooth, I would have most likely not paid that much money for any thing that I have <laughs> um, but anyway so basically the process of veneers were fairly simple um, I think the most painful one was the implant um, in general it didn't hurt because you know they numb you but I never went under so I was awake through everything that I've gotten done in my teeth and so I can really hear like the drilling and just like when they say like oh there's a lot of blood right now or, like stuff like that like I can hear it all so for veneers um, basically what they did was they put numbing gel all over the top of my mouth and then they did the anesthesia which I wish my implant doctor would have done because when he did the anesthesia I do not remember him doing gel before and like <laughs> but those shots they hurt <laughs> um, but anyway so they numb me not like completely and then after I got like I want to say two shot he gave me one shot here one up higher same thing over here and up here um and obviously like this area is really sensitive so i would say that was the most painful part of it after that basically they shaved down my teeth to be a little bit thinner so that they can like fill them in afterwards and then um they gave me temporaries in so because the lab needed to make the teeth um so then i had temporaries on after that and they looked pretty good and i was like okay okay this is what my teeth will look like afterwards and then i went in about a month later just because the lab was taking a little bit longer with them and then i finally got the final product so again i got numbed all over the top and then they cut off the um the temporaries and then put in the new ones and this process each appointment was about three hours long uh, so it was kind of tiring to have my mouth open for so long but overall it didn't hurt at all and when it comes to speaking I feel like I sound pretty much the same I am sick so it makes sense and then uh, right now I'm still getting used to them but one of the this tooth on the back is a little bit thicker than the other so it grinds a little bit but basically, I'm just going to go back and have them fix it. Um, they told me to take some time with it and getting used to them. And then if I notice something, then to go back so that they can fix everything. But yeah, I honestly really like them. Um, obviously, not biting anything really hard just to not break it because it's kind of like a crown. And then um, just regular brushing, flossing, mouthwash, whatever. And I don't think they stain really, I asked. And they said, unless you drink like a lot of red wine or coffee. And I'm, I mean, I do drink a lot of coffee, but they still look pretty white to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically why I got veneers. And I hope this video helped some of you. I wanted to make it because when I was trying to get veneers, I didn't know if I should. And just like stuff in general that I look up, there's some things that I'm like, well, can somebody make a freaking video about it? So that's why I made it. But yeah. That's an update on my life right now. So if you see me smiling a lot more, it's because I paid thousands of dollars for these teeth and I need Colgate to hook it up, alright? Alright, bye!